Welcome to Invest Insights. I'm Abby Malone. I'm joined with Larry Corman, the president of AKA Hotel Residences with locations in New York City, Philadelphia, Washington, DC, Los Angeles, and London. He joins us for our discussion on the COVID-19 pandemic. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to watch more insights like this. Well, Larry, hospitality has seen a quite a number of weeks, uh, something historic that we've never seen before, um, and you've taken a hit. And so I wanted to know, as we consider reopening, um, and states are finally actively talking about what that means for reopening and recovery, how, is, how have you seen the impact to uh, AKA hotel residences? And, and do you feel that the particular segment that you're in, long-term hotel stays, uh, might be impacted slightly different than the hotel industry overall? I think hospitality overall has been hit hard from hotels to restaurants. Uh, I think we've been a little less hit hard because we have longer length stays, so we've fared much better. And because we have a strong commitment to our team and to our residents and to our partners, we've remained open for the most, most of our properties. So I think the reopening transition will be a lot easier for a company like ourselves. We're also working with people who have been uh, impacted or, or, or helping deal with this uh, transition and this uh, crisis. So I think that for overall hospitality, a lot of it's not going to be based and turning a switch, as Trump says. It's going to be consumer confidence when somebody feels comfortable getting back. Welcome to Invest Insights. I'm Abby Malone. I'm joined with Larry Corman, the president of AKA Hotel Residences, with locations in New York City, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Los Angeles, and London. He joins us for our discussion on the COVID-19 pandemic. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to watch more insights like this. Well, Larry, hospitality has seen a quite a number of weeks, uh, something historic that we've never seen before, um, and you've taken a hit. And so I wanted to know, as we consider reopening, um, and states are finally actively talking about what that means for reopening and recovery, how, is, how have you seen the impact to uh, AKA hotel residences? And, and do you feel that the particular segment that you're in, long-term hotel stays, uh, might be impacted slightly different than the hotel industry overall? I think hospitality overall has been hit hard from hotels to restaurants. Uh, I think we've been a little less hit hard because we have longer length stays, so we've fared much better. And because we have a strong commitment to our team and to our residents and to our partners, we've remained open for the most, most of our properties. So I think the reopening transition will be a lot easier for a company like ourselves. We're also working with people who have been uh, impacted or, or, or helping deal with this uh, transition and this uh, crisis. So I think that for overall hospitality, a lot of it's not going to be based on turning a switch, as Trump says. It's going to be consumer confidence. When somebody feels comfortable getting back in a plane, staying at a hotel, going to a theater show, going to a restaurant. So a lot of that's going to be uh, a little testing and a transition to take place. I think part of that consumer confidence is going to be coming uh, with the safety of the places that they choose to stay. Can you talk to us a little bit about how you're implementing new measures uh, in this social distancing uh, to enable uh, consumers to feel uh, more comfortable when they're staying away from home? I think you're absolutely right. I think there's going to be some hotels, some condos, some restaurants, some theaters that do better than others because they're not going to have their head in the sand. We've always been uh, pride ourselves on cleanliness and attention to details. We've always said the angels are in the details. So the fact that uh, we are higher end, we do have a full residence, you have a kitchen and a home office where you can stay. You don't have to go out, you don't have to go to your office, you can do a Zoom meeting like this. So I think this perception of uh, anonymity, cleanliness, design, style, all works towards us. We then on our own have proactively implemented a lot more common area cleaning. We've added a little AKA care package in each suite with gloves and masks and uh, hand sanitizers. We've all provided a sleep uh, mask to get a good night's sleep and then a branded mask that they can go when they're not at AKA. But uh, this whole idea of leaving chaos and coming into the calm surroundings of AK have always been the hallmark of AK. So I think it's really getting that perception and that communication out there that we've taken that cleanliness and hygiene to the next level. And you have been, we talked about a little bit before we started, uh, considering expansion and how has COVID impacted that expansion and might there be some silver linings uh, that we can find because of uh, the situation that hospitality finds themselves in? 
There's always silver linings in any uh, door that closes, a door that opens, hopefully a residential door that opens. But uh, while this is a step back for any company, I think it also presents great opportunity for companies that have uh, depth and breadth of experience. I think partners are looking for that uh, solidity. And I think there's going to be a lot of condominiums that are sitting vacant, apartments that are looking for that next level of enhancement, hotels that are sitting there looking to uh, reposition themselves, offices that are vacant. So I think there's going to be opportunities for a company like us because we're a bit of a chameleon and we can be a hedge against certain times. So we can take a hotel, add residence. We can take an apartment or condo, add our programming. So I think there's going to be unique opportunities. And I think this one big step backwards has a potential to be three steps, uh, giant steps forward for us. Interesting indeed. And should our viewers want to find out more information, where would you guide them? Uh, you can go to stayak.com, stayak.com. We've been saying stay safe, stay, stay sane, and stay at AKA. Uh, so stayak.com uh, for more information about our offerings. And we also have another division called AV, so avliving.com and corman.com. Wonderful. Well, thank you again. That was Larry Corman, the president of AKA Hotel Residences. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to watch more insights like this. You've been watching Invest Insights, and my name is Abby Maloney. Thank you so much for watching.